So the really exciting thing right now, things that just happened, is that we found so many new exoplanets. And some of them might just be small enough that they could be rocky, like our own Earth. So Kepler, for example, presented more than a thousand new candidates. And so the exciting thing is, could you just with a telescope, just with light, actually say whether or not it could be a habitat, if there could be life on such planets? And that's exactly what we're doing here and what the research is about. So if you have a telescope, if you know where these planets are, you just point the telescope. What can you see in the spectrum of the planet? You're looking for oxygen, you're looking for water, you're looking for methane, and the combination of that can tell you whether or not the planets we found are actually habitats. And this is what we're starting to do right now and I think it's extremely exciting the next couple of steps we're going to do in this. And so from now on, now we have those planets. We know they can be rocky. The research very much focuses on what could be a habitat. Because of course we have Earth, but also other places, bigger, smaller, cooler, hotter, could actually be habitats. Maybe for some extreme forms of life, but maybe also for life as we know it. And so what we're looking for are these traces in the atmosphere. There's these traces in the atmosphere of those planets. What can we look for? And so we're establishing a grid, a grid of all these planets that could actually work as habitats. So we know what we can look for with missions like JWST, the telescope that comes after Hubble. Because this is not far off anymore and we want to be prepared. So we know what we see once we can point and figure out if there could be life on these planets.